Hello, my name is Nicolas Chantre, and today I will be showing you how to access and use the GeoGebra tool in Graspable Math. We will also explore some of its features and capabilities. For the purposes of this video and demonstration, we will be using the tool at activities.graspablemath.com. So let's get started. First, you're going to want to log into your teacher account. From here, navigate to your activity bank. And we are going to want to create an activity that features Canvas task types. So we're going to title our activity GeoGebra demo for demonstration. And we will get started. So recall that, as I mentioned, your task type should be Canvas, as in the Canvas component of Graspable Math is where you can find the GeoGebra tool. And this is the only place in which you can find the tool. So it's important that when you create your activity, the task types are Canvas. So now we will add a task and we will get started. So for the first example, I will be going over the two-dimensional version of the GeoGebra tool in which you can find this version if you navigate to Insert in Graphing. And a window should appear in which you can insert two-dimensional expressions that you create through Canvas. So we are going to create our first expression by selecting Insert Math Expression. And instead of choosing a parabola, we can go for a straight line. So the first equation, or sorry, expression that I will create will be for a simple line. Okay, so this is our line, and we are going to want to insert or implement this expression into the GeoGebra tool. Again, this is the two-dimensional version of the GeoGebra tool. So you're going to want to put your cursor to the right side of your expression until a circle appears in which you click and drag over the window. And when you release, your expression will be implemented into the window. So an interesting feature of this tool and the interaction between these two is you can manipulate and scrub terms of your expression. So for instance, we are going to scrub the slope for our line, and we will see a change in real time. As when we are interacting with the slope through Canvas, the expression is interacting uh, with GeoGebra updating in live time. So we're going to go back to the expression we first had. In the second example, and a very, another very interesting way in which we can use this tool and this interaction is suppose we'd like to find the intersection of two lines. So again, I'll create another expression for another very simple line for the purposes of this video. We won't get too fancy. And our next expression will be y equals x plus 6. So first through Canvas, we'd like to get an idea of where these two lines intersect. And we can accomplish this by setting the two expressions equivalent to one another. So in order to accomplish this, we're going to want to select one of the y's drag it on top of the other y. Canvas recognizes that these two expressions are equivalent through the fact that they are both equivalent to y. We're going to want to commute like terms to their respective sides and simplify each side of our expression until we find that according to Canvas, these two lines intersect at x equals 5. So we are going to now implement our sec second expression onto Canvas um, through GeoGebra tool. And we are going to select the window, and we're going to scroll out. And according to Canvas, and according to the GeoGebra tool, these two lines do, in fact, intersect at where x equals 5. So, and we have a confirmation through GeoGebra. So the last way in which uh, we will be exploring through this video, the last way in which um, I'll be covering, and this is one of the many ways in which you can use the GeoGebra tool, is if you navigate to the GeoGebra website, they have a resources page in which community members, um, collaborators, publicly make available some of the content they've developed. So the GeoGebra tool in Graspable Math allows you to implement these resources that exist on the GeoGebra website. So I'm going to show you how to implement any resource you find on GeoGebra into an activity that you'd like to share with a classroom, students, or peers um, on Canvas, on Graspable Math. So just just to get an idea of what activity may interest you, I am just going to pick this exercise and activity by Pascal, and I'm going to select his resource. I'm going to navigate to the URL, and I'm going to copy the code that appears at the last segment of the URL. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to navigate back to Graspable Math Activities into our Canvas. Uh, for the purposes of organization, I'll just X out this um, window. We're going to implement another version of the tool, uh, same version of it, and we are going to implement the resource we found. So you click on this, those three lines, you go to open, and from here, 
you're going to want to search the resources you will insert the code in which you found through GeoGebra and that resource should appear now in order to implement it you're going to want to click on that resource select edit and as you can see we have implemented the resource we found through GeoGebra and this can apply for any resource you come across on the GeoGebra website. So I hope this video was able to give you guys a brief introduction and get you thinking about some of the many ways in which you can use this tool on Graspable Math. Thank you.